Hello, Paula Danielli from Crochet Hooks You Here, and today I'll be showing you how to make this crochet octagon coaster. And you can make it in the one colour, but today I'll be showing you how to use the two colours. The materials I use are Cleck Heat and 100% Bamboo Yarn, which is uh, a three ply in Australia and it's similar to a super fine fingering or baby weight yarn. Now for the main part of the coaster I'm using the colour Aqua and for the edging I'm using the same type of yarn just in a taupe colour and we'll be using a three millimeter hook. We'll also need your scissors and a yarn needle. So to get started you'll need to make two chain stitches. So one, two. And for the first round we'll be doing eight single crochet stitches into the second chain from the hook. So there's the first from the hook and there's the second from the hook. Now for your first single crochet stitch you're going to crochet over the tail just to get it out of the way. So just hold it like that. Pop it over the hook. And make your first single crochet stitch. And that's gotten the tail out of the way. And we will sew that in later. So now we've got our first single crochet stitch into the second chain from the hook. And now we need to make seven more. So we have eight. There's two single crochet. Three. Six, and just push it around if you need to. Seven. Eight. And there we can see where we've made our first single crochet stitch there and we're going to do a slip stitch into that single crochet stitch to finish this round and at the end of this round we'll have eight stitches. For round two we'll start off with a chain one And then we'll be doing two single crochet stitches into the same space as the chain one. So you can see the space there. So two single crochet stitches into that space. So there's our first single crochet stitch. And then into the same spot. our second single crochet into that same stitch. And now we're going to do that for each of these stitches around. Two single crochet stitches into each stitch. So moving on to the next stitch here. There's the first single crochet stitch into the same stitch there, a second 
single crochet stitch. Move on to the next stitch. There's our first single crochet stitch. Into the same stitch, a second single crochet. So continue that right around to the end and I'll meet you there. Now I'm up towards the end of round two and I've got 16 stitches and we can see our join there from our previous round. And there's our chain one. And this was the first single crochet stitch we made for this round. And we want to do a slip stitch into that first single crochet stitch to join and to end this round. And as I said, you should have 16 stitches at the end of this round. Now for round three, we'll start by making a chain one. And then we're going to do one single crochet into the same space as the chain one here. So one single crochet stitch into the same space as the chain one. Now we're going to do two single crochet stitches into the next stitch. So there's the first single crochet into the same stitch, a second single crochet. And into the next stitch, we'll do one single crochet stitch. And then into the next, we're going to do two single crochet stitches. 